it's Paige. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly import and rename all of your images from a memory card, external hard drive, or even just from one area of your computer to another using Adobe Bridge. I'm a huge fan of batch editing in any form because it saves me a ton of time. This is why I love using Bridge in my editing workflow because it has so many cool batch editing features. If you're using some other method for importing your images, you may just change your mind and switch after watching this video. So let's get started. Here I am in Adobe Bridge and I'm going to show you how I'm going to, you can quickly select images and import them into your computer right from Bridge. I have my memory card in my computer and um, I have it open here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these sky pictures that I took. I'm just going to select them all by clicking on the first one and then clicking on the last one um, with my shift key held down on the keyboard and that's going to select all of these images here. Um, then it's like 24 images and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to tools and I'm going to go to batch rename. And this is going to allow me to move um, these from my card, um, copy them from my card, and move them onto my computer. So you, um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy to other folder. Um, you can also just rename them in the same folder. I don't want to do that because I'm using a memory card. Um, or you could move them to um, another folder. Um, but we are just going to do copy to other folder. So we're going to go ahead and click browse and I'm going to find, I'm going to create a new folder for these because I'm going to use these sky, um, pictures of the sky to make some textures in Photoshop. So I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to um, name it sky texture. And I'm going to make another new folder and I'm going to put source files. So I know that these are um, the files for the source of my texture. So then I'm just going to click open and I'm going to call these sky. Um, you can do different things with this. You can have um, the date created, you can have a sequence number. Um, so you can do all kinds of stuff. So I'm just going to have the sky, um, the date created, and then I'm going to have a sequence number and I'm going to start with one. So I'm going to go ahead and um, just click rename, but it will show you a preview of what the new name will look like down here. So we're going to click rename and it's going to do its magic and it doesn't take very long. Um, it's just copying and renaming those files. And when it's done, this little window will go away. So now when I go on my computer, here's the sky texture folder that we made. Here are the source files. And now all of those sky pictures are in this folder and they're all renamed and that's all there is to it. So it's really quick and really easy. And you can do this, um, you know, if I wanted to select these and use them for something else, I could just select them all and copy them into another folder. If I needed to just move them to a completely different folder, I could select these all and move them to a different folder. It's so easy and it really saves you a lot of time. Thanks for watching. Bye.